Hello everybody, my name is Richard Hastings and I lead the family research group at the University of Warwick that's supported by Cerebra. And one of the areas of work that we have been doing that's been supported by Cerebra funds has been to investigate in more detail the early development of children with a learning disability, especially in the UK context. And one of the ways that we've been doing this is by looking at large national data sets where we can find children with learning disability so that we can look at how their development happens over time. The most important study for this is the Millennium Cohort Study, which is a large UK birth cohort study, children born in 2000. And there's over 15,000 children involved and we have identified about or just over 500 children with a learning disability in that study. Now it's a unique um, resource for us because data were collected on children and their families when the children were nine months of age, three years, five years, seven years and 11 years for the purposes of what I'm talking about today. Um, and we have been interested in across that period what factors affect the early development of children with a learning disability and in particular their emotional and behavioural development by the time they get to age seven and age 11. And what we've shown in research that um, is published online in the journal Child Development is that families are affected quite early on by a number of challenges, a number of financial challenges, they're more likely to live in poverty, but also other challenges when they have a child with a learning disability. And that will affect parents' well-being early on, the level of stress that they experience. And that level of stress in turn affects how families, how parents are able to parent their child. And parenting affects the outcomes for children with a learning disability by the time they get to age seven and 11. Now it's important to study this because what we've been studying is whether those developmental pathways that apply to all children also apply to children with a learning disability. And what we've shown through that work is that they do, that, that process linking early adverse experiences and poverty in families to parental stress, to parenting, and then outcomes for children with a learning disability. That is supported in the research we've done with that sample of children with, with a learning disability. And it's the same process that affects the development of all children. So the early development of children with a learning disability um, is affected by the same things. So children with a learning disability are just like any other children, if you like. They're affected by more um, adverse things, but the same process applies. Now, this is really important for a couple of reasons. So the first is that services really ought to be able to support children with learning disability and their families early on. They may need more support, they may need slightly different ad adapted support, but essentially the same sorts of things we support families with need to be given to, ch to families of ch young children with learning disability. And we've also been using the information from this research to help design bespoke interventions, supports for families of young children with a learning disability. We've been working with a model called Early Positive Approaches to Support, or EPATS, with our colleagues at the University of Kent. And this intervention approach has been co-designed with families and also is co-delivered between a family carer and a professional when it's delivered to groups of families. That work has been funded by the National Institute for Health Research recently. Um, we haven't got the results yet because we're still analysing them. But I thought it was just important to kind of uh, to help you to understand the, the value of the basic research we've been doing about early development and how it could feed into better support for families into the future. Thank you.